Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neha Kapoor, Senior Consultant and Head at Neurology Department in Asian Hospital, Faridabad. And I am here to talk to you about smoking and brain stroke. My dear friends, smoking is an evil which is present to, uh, in the entire society and everyone now, every second person here is smoking. So, uh, I want to urge to you to stop smoking and I know it's a, a very difficult uh, thing that I'm asking you to do. But why should I ask you to stop smoking? So smoking is directly uh, related to the incidence of stroke. What is brain stroke? Brain stroke is a sudden onset cerebral vascular accident. Basically, you will suddenly have weakness of your face, arm, slurring of speech. Uh, suddenly, you may lose consciousness and it is a catastrophic event. You may be disabled for your life and the weakness that comes with brain stroke can hinder your functional activities in life. You may lose a job. So if you're suffering from such a grave illness, so you should definitely think of about quitting the cause, the root cause that can lead to this illness. So dear friends, how does smoking lead to illness? I would first like to tell you that smoking can be of two types. One is direct smoking, that a person directly consumes smoke in whatever form, which could be cigarette, beery or hookah. And the second smoking could be a secondhand smoking. So this is for people who smoke at their homes. You are actually subjecting your family, your wife, your kids, your relatives, family, friends, everyone to secondhand smoke. So how does smoking directly cause stroke? Smoking basically uh, reduces your oxygen levels in your blood. It affects the heart. It affects the blood vessels. It causes uh, clot formation in your blood vessels. It narrow downs the, uh, the lumen of the arteries that carries the blood from the heart to the brain and thus leading to the brain stroke. Brain stroke can be of two types. It can be a clotting type brain stroke or a bleeding type brain stroke. And my dear friends, smoking can lead to both type of these brain strokes. It can cause bleeding also and it can cause clotting as well. So if we talk about incidence of smoking and brain stroke, direct smoking can actually increase your uh, chances of stroke by two times and a second hand stroke can actually again increase your uh, chances of having a brain stroke by up to almost 30 percent than uh, patients who uh, than people who don't have uh, any exposure to second hand uh, smoke so uh, uh, i basically tell my patients who are smoking that your chances of having a second stroke or, or a stroke for that matter is 50 percent if you're smoking and the chances of your family having a stroke is by almost 20 to 30 percent because you're subjecting them to a secondhand stroke. So uh, now coming on to uh, your medicines, a lot of patients they ask me that uh, uh, I'm having uh, medicines of blood thinners, uh, can I still continue to smoke? The answer is a big no. You cannot continue to smoke and at the same time be having blood thinners because you need to understand first that you had a brain stroke need to quit smoking and second is that these uh, smoking these uh, there is always an interaction with the uh, medicines especially patients who are having anticoagulation like warfarin smoking definitely interacts with these medicines and reduces the efficacy of the medicines so uh, one hand you're taking medicines to reduce your chances of stroke and the second hand you're actually consuming a substance which can actually increase your risk of having the stroke. So my dear friends, uh, it is a very uh, a difficult thing I'm asking you to do, but I would suggest that if you want to live a long and a healthy life, the idea is to reduce the evils that can actually uh, cause a disabling uh, disease to you and reduce uh, your longevity and actually cause a harm to your health and also to your family members. So please stop smoking and live long and live healthy. Thank you.